Salut, hope you are doing fine. And in today's video, we are still analyzing Act 1 of Adele's house. And we are going to deal with two characters. That is Helma and Mrs. Lynn. And we are all, we are all going to analyze their character traits in detail from page to page. So maybe you can have your pencil and a copy of Adele's house and we are going to do it together. Before we analyze the traits of Helma, let us understand who he is. And Helma is the husband to Nora and a father of three. That is Amy, Ivar and Bob. In addition to that, he is promoted bank manager and he is going to start his new job at the bank in the new year. And the first trait of Helma, he is inquisitive. That is on page two. He asks Nora a lot of questions. And these are the questions. Is that my little luck teetering out there? Mm -hmm. Again, is my little squirrel bustling about? And again, where did my squirrel come home? So from that we can say he is inquisitive or curious. And number two, Helma is economical. Still on page two, he tells Nora that we cannot spend money recklessly. So on page two, almost at the bottom, still you know we can't spend money recklessly is it not case economical and next he is playful and this is whereby he calls nora using the pet names and he also takes nora playfully by the ear that is on page three up there elma the stage directions goes up to her and take her playfully by the ear so in that case he is playful and the next one he is somehow pessimistic and a pessimist is a person who thinks that bad things might happen in the future and he tells Nora what if they borrow money and then Nora spend that money for Christmas and then on the new year a slate falls on his head and then he dies so let us take page three together at the top there Suppose now that I borrowed 50 pounds today and you spend it all on Christmas week. And then on a New Year's Eve, a slate fell on my head and killed me. And so from that you can say he is pessimistic. And the next trait is chauvinistic. This is because he thinks men are superior. And on page 3, he tells Nora that he is like a woman. To mean that Nora has no information about finances, just like any other woman. So we check on page 3, almost at the end. That is like a woman, but seriously, Nora, you know that I think about that. No debt, no borrowing. Next, he is supporting. This is because he gives Nora money for housekeeping during Christmas. And we find this on page 4. Let's go page four together. There you are at the top. Gives her some money. Do you think I don't know that a lot is wanted for housekeeping at Christmas? And the next trait of Helma, she is hard working and we learned this from Nora. He had to make money in every any way he could. So he had to overwork himself wake up very early and sleep late and that is why he falls sick and that is on page 12 almost at the end check where Nora is speaking I'm not going to read the whole thing but Tobal left his office when we were married there was no prospect of promotion there and he had to try and earn more than before but during the first year he, he overworked himself dreadfully you see, he had to make money every way he could, and we and he had it, but he couldn't stand it. He felt dreadfully ill. So, Helma is hard working. He is egocentric or opinionated, and an egocentric person is always the person who thinks about himself and doesn't think about what other people need or want. And we learned this from Nora whereby she describes Helma as having strong opinion. Page 20, at the top, Nora. Good heavens, no. How could you think so? 
a man who has such strong opinion about these things. So he is opinionated or egocentric. Next, self-righteous. And a self-righteous person is the one who thinks that they are always correct or morally superior. And we see Helma, he doesn't want to work with Krogstad because he thinks that he is immoral. And we're going to check that on page 47. At Healthy Bottom, I know I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you'll read the whole thing. I assure you, it would be quite impossible for me to work with him. I literally feel physically ill when I'm in the company of such people. And next, he is decent. See from the same page, the fact that he is not ready to work with Krogstad, who, think, uh, who he thinks that he is immoral, we can say that he is yeah, decent because he doesn't want to work with an indecent man. Still on page 47, you'll find that. Another, uh, another trait of Helmas is that he is pragmatic and a pragmatic person is the one who tries to solve issues or problems in a sensible way or in other words in a realistic way. And Helma is again is the whole idea of borrowing money because he considers it luxurious. And he also says there cannot be happiness in a house that depends on borrowing. So from that we can say he is pragmatic. That is on page 2 to page 3. He is authoritarian. That is on page 47. He inquired about Krogstad in an authoritative way. Our second character in Act, Act 1 is Mrs. Lin. And Mrs. Lin is an ex fiance to Krogstad. And they also school together with Nora. They were friends and they still are friends now. And the first character trait, she is materialistic and she confesses to Nora that she married her late husband because he was rich. That is on page 14. The second part, Mrs. Lin. My mother was alive then and was bedridden and helpless. And I had to provide for my two siblings, younger brother, sorry. I did not think I was justified in refusing his offer. Number two, she is honest and she tells Nora her things concerning her openly. First on page 14, she openly tells Nora that she married her late husband because she needed money or because the husband was rich. Secondly, she tells Nora openly that she was a spendthrift. Let's just check that on page 12 up there. Mrs. Lin, Mrs. Lin. Haven't you learned sense yet? In our school days, you are a great spendthrift. And next, she is inquisitive. That is on page 18. Whereby she asks Nora a lot of questions about where she got the money to fund their trip to Italy. Page 18. Well, that Sam, mm -hmm, that is Mrs. Linda again. Did you win a prize in the lottery? Mm -hmm. But where did you get it from then? So she is asking a lot of questions. Next, she is selfless. And a selfless person is the one who cares more about the need or the needs of others more than they care about their own. She had to abandon the man she loves for a richer man in order to take care of her sick or her bedridden mother and her two siblings. We check that on page 14. Mother was alive then and was bedridden and helpless and I had to provide for my two younger brothers. So that is uh, the reason why she had to abandon Krogstad for the richer manhood. And next, she is hardworking. After her husband died, he left her nothing. So she had to work hard in order to survive. Still on page 14, at the last part, while well, I had to turn my hands to do anything I could find, first a small shop, then a small school, and so on. The last three years have seemed like a long working day with no rest. So that is all, uh, that is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for watching. So in case we have, you have any other trait of the two, just let me know. So thank you for watching and see you later. 
And in case you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. Bye-bye. We'll see you later.